The International Design Center is a collection of people with diverse interests and expertise who come together and we're trying to collaborate across nations to solve important problems uh, locally here. There are many things and many ways that they supported us. So one important way is providing us with the funding and IDC also provide a lot of infrastructure support so we can set up labs in IDC that promotes the kind of interactions between researchers and to promote the kind of research that we do. The IDC has this can-do attitude that enables us to complete great projects in a time span that would be unimaginable elsewhere. Research requires collaboration and I think that's something that IDC definitely tries to bring out, like the coming together of different groups of people. So I think IDC brings out the best in, in that regard. The focus of my current projects at uh, IDC are in the areas of reconfigurable uh, robotics so that these robots can be applied to solve real-world problems. Imagine that we have these cleaning robots deployed in a typical home. They can change their form so as to adapt to the furnitures that they come into contact with. This year, SUTD hosted the Robocon competition and IDC was one of uh, the sponsors from the kids to design of competition to consultation and collaboration with uh, researchers and faculty. The students work together going through hardship uh, and uh, of course fun, uh, you know, fabricating these robots, designing these robots, testing them exhaustively. Um, and uh, we saw very interesting design principles coming out of this competition. I study thermodynamics at the quantum level, so we try to convert heat into energy, useful energy at the nanoscale, where it can, use, can be used in nanotechnologies. Working with engineers and designers asked me to focus on real problems uh, and not just abstract problems that uh, theoretical physicists like me like to focus on. In my group, we try to find design principles for future technologies, which will require quantum mechanics. These quantum systems are really complex, so we also have to design new methods to analyze them and investigate my hope is that in the future our interaction with IDC will help I trust and this research that we are doing to go more to become more international with the help of IDC. I think there's more that we can do. Uh, we only just scratch the surface on making a craft but as you can see Aerocraft has a lot of applications it can be used to help search and rescue operations all around the world. The IDC is already a very important research center for SUTD and MIT and I expect that it will only grow in importance for uh, Singapore but also the rest of the world. We have the ideas and IDC enables us to go chase these ideas so I think uh, it's been a great journey so far. The future is just going to be amazing in terms of products, in terms of systems, in terms of all of our life, in terms of design many different aspects of what will change in the future. One is sustainability. We'll see buildings created to use light and energy more efficiently. Uh, we're going to see products that will, for example, uh, augment us, change our capabilities. If it's going to be exciting, products will become more human.